Very early on, it was just called Elysium. It was a small island in the middle of some sea in someone's imagination. All of the warbands that were coming there, they had come away from their homelands for a particular reason. The Dark Horde, they have left because their home is horrendous and inhospitable. Sonnenland, the group I was a part of, we came there simply to, to, to conquer and find new lands for the glory of, uh, for the glory of our Baroness. Then what happened is the island rose up into a plateau and there was another bigger island right underneath it and that's Neo Elysia. I'm Mario Brandley. I'm a LARPer, a reenactor, sword fighter, and operatic tenor. Hold on. <clears throat> Du holde Kunst in wie für grauen Stunden. That's a bit without walking up. I was a big nerd. It's a big old nerd, and I hung out with all of the rest of the nerds in, in, in front of the library, just playing computer games all the time. Being the outcasts, we essentially just confided in each other and the the opinions of Everyone else who was in the school just it ceased to matter. A mate of mine, he, he was going to church and he was like, hey, you should come along to church. And he's, and he's still a very good friend of mine. I just followed him along. I thought, oh yeah, I'll give it a go, see, see what all this is about. I'd become a youth leader and I was, I was just like in the church. I was doing an internship. I was in a course to, to, do, a, to do a ministry study. One of my mates, my friend Chris, he said to me one night, started going to this thing called LARP, charging in saying like, hey, this is pretty good. And I was like, oh yeah, I'll, I'll give it a go. LARP community, they're such, there are so many different kind of people in, in live action role play, gays, bisexuals, transgender people. And by the time I got to, got to last year, it's just coming out was, was so easy and no one cared. People in society, extremes of anything are very much discouraged. But yeah, it's, it's, it's love, essentially. It's find a personality trait and just take it, take it to the extreme.
I like to think of LARP as a hobby with great longevity. If when I get like 60 or something, or 60, 70, like on goes the wizard hat, out comes the beard, like it's, it's gonna be a hoot.